It's hard to believe that Glarnham was hidden from view for 1,700 years by material washed down from the surrounding mountains. It was only in 1921 that excavations began to uncover this town, which dates back to the 6th century BC. Iron Age Celts from Liguria settled here at the foot of Mongosier in the Alpi almost 3,000 years ago. Until 1921, the only visible traces of the town were Les Antiques, two impressive Roman monuments on the Via Domitia at the entrance to the town. The mausoleum is thought to be the tomb of the parents of three brothers who belonged to the distinguished Julius family. Close by is the Triumphal Arch, symbol of the might and domination of Rome. These two monuments had attracted the attention of scholars for centuries. The rest of the town laid undisturbed under a vast field of olive trees. It's thought that the Bronze Age Celts chose this spot because a Celtic god, Glan, and his three companions, the Glanic Mothers, lived here in the waters of a sacred spring. The town took its name from this god, Glan. Five hundred years later, around 39 BC, Marcus Agrippa sought healing for his leg here. He built the Roman temple to Valetudo in gratitude. In the 1st and 2nd centuries BC, Glanum had thriving relations with the Greek colony in Marseille. The architecture underwent strong Greek influence. This Hellenistic fountain is one of the oldest fountains discovered in France. Two houses built in typical Mediterranean style, with rooms round a central courtyard and pool, are still visible. In 125 BC, the population rose up against the Greeks, who turned to the Romans for help. Glanum was defeated and became a Roman colony under Emperor Augustus. The Romans brought their architecture and way of life. Thermal baths, forum, basilica, and temples dedicated to worship of the Empress family transformed Glanum. Finally, the population fled to nearby Saint-Rémy-de-Provence after the Germanic invasions of 260 AD. Glanum remained hidden from view for 1700 years. <laughs>